Hello and welcome to the most recent Explore Herpetology expedition. This time we're in Nam province and find some of the most insanely beautiful snakes in the entire world within the first few days. This is a must watch episode, so let's get started. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well, what a way to start our Northeastern Thailand trip. We got the damn car stuck in like the only bit of mud deep enough to get it stuck in and now we're shoveling little drainage canals getting as much mud away from the wheels as possible so we can lay out some like planks and, shit and try and get it out of here look at harry he's getting down and dirty he loves this shit though like very much <laughs> we do have a plan b right over there it's very hard for me to film as my hands are so muddy you can see the f i can't even clean the water off the lens but Explain what happened. So we had like this piece of tarp and we put it behind the car, but it was only a certain length. So we drove the car onto the tarp, moved the tarp behind the car and did that like several times. And at the end, we fully went with like all momentum possible. You can see where the tarp le left off. We used the tarp to get it up. The bit was on an incline where we were getting the most wheel spin. Then from here, it was all muscle and revs and we are out. And I'm not even kidding, the car is empty on fuel. If we'd have been doing this for like 10 minutes longer. Anyway, now to take this bad boy for a spin. <laughs> After mitigating that absolute disaster on the first day of the trip, we washed the car, procured ourselves two scooters and drove up into the beautiful mountains of Nan province, which we would be exploring relentlessly for the next 10 nights. Yeah, gonna start the night with some road cruising and see where we go from there. Maybe we'll do some walking later, but for now, eyes on the road, it's snake hour. All right, and here is the first snake in Nan province. This is Boiga cyanea, and you may be thinking, what's up with this snake? Well, yes, the ones up here have these black eyes, or at least they're not black, but the white speckling is either a lot darker or a lot less pronounced, which gives them this really dark eyed look. And this one is quite a nice color scheme as well. It's a very, very olive green, not kind of what we're used to seeing, but I guess this is a relatively small one. So maybe it's just been a, in a kind of color phase transition. Let's have a little play with this guy here. Looks like one I could potentially handle. And the more I look at this, the more I think, man, these are so different from the ones we get around our area. Anyway, I think you got a good look at it when it was on the road. No need to uh, see me handle it much more, especially as now it's opening its mouth. It's not a happy bunny anymore. Okay, I'm gonna let this guy go. The second snake of the night is the same thing, but bigger, a lot bigger in fact. Look at my hand next to this. Oh, I can't even fit it in frame. That's a healthy looking green cat snake, still with this much more olivish color that you get in this northern area. I don't actually know quite how to describe the color. I'm not sure if olive is the right thing. It's still got those black eyes, possibly even more pronounced on an individual this size. Okay, and here's the first new snake of the year for me. Not a lifer, I saw them here before and in Chiang Mai, but this is Parius geminatus, a very beautiful Parietta day, probably the nicest in the Parius genus. It's really lovely, bright orange, and they're very typically this color, if not even more vibrant. I've definitely seen some with incredibly striking orange. Oh. Okay, I've momentarily got it to calm down and you can get your first proper look. And a very cute species of snake, of course, a completely harmless, Parietid, which would never ever bite just like all the other members of the genus but this is definitely my favorite as i mentioned before i think it's the nicest in this group and this isn't the nicest individual you can see but certainly a good one a nice adult and a good first look at this species which i'm sure we'll see many more of so continuing the streak of invertebrate updates on my channel is this pretty cool rhinoceros beetle we've seen a couple of these knocking about but they have one of the most amazing kind of crown of horns I've ever seen on these. And they're pretty nicely sized to match with that cool pale colored abdomen. But look at the size of that front horn and then the five, or oh, sorry, four other ones around it. Like really amazing. This place is known for its beetle life and 
has not disappointed so far. So after road cruising for a while, we got out walking a stream and it was so loud, I can only dub over this audio. But first we got this uh, lovely little mountain slug snake, another very common species of slug snake in the highlands up here. And one we are sure to see many more of as time goes on. The next snake found along the stream was this lovely little dark morph mock viper just sleeping in a tree. We were happy to see it after seeing a few dead on the road, but it's quite a common species in the highlands, so we decided to leave it be and just move on. So throughout this series, I'm going to be omitting a lot of the common species. As we're here for 10 days, there's going to be a lot of repeat stuff that there's no need putting in, but I simply had to include this absolutely adorable little mountain slug snake. This has to be one of the cutest snakes I've ever seen. I mean, just look at it. So tiny. What an amazing little thing. What the hell, guys? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> look at the size of this frog. <laughs> this is Zangixilus fay, or fay's flying frog. And this is probably the most robust Recorphoridae I've ever seen. This thing is so fat and so goofy and so cool. I've uh, been extremely gentle with it, so it hasn't gone into its stress colors, and you can truly see it in that kind of turquoisey, pale green beauty. I've actually seen this species before, last time I was here, in fact, but I mean, it was maybe two thirds the size of this one. When I saw it in the up in the banana tree, I was like, wow, I have to get a hand on this. And I'm telling you, coolest frog in the area, in my opinion. I know, very generic, but I'm not a frog guy, so I always appreciate the most flashy ones, not the most understated. But this is certainly not an understated frog. This is every bit that it's worth. And we have liftoff, guys. Here it is, the first target species of the trip has been acquired. This is the red bamboo rat snake, Oreocryptophis porphyracea, subspecies pulchra, which is found in the northeast of Thailand. And I've seen one of these before, but god damn, every time I see one of these, it blows me away with its beauty. It's so gentle with the iridescent sheen it looks like it's made out of china out of glass it's truly one of the world's most beautiful snakes and of course it's completely harmless this species lives under moss carpets and under loose leaf litter in montane and submontane forests in northern thailand and is very very hard to find you really just have to spend enough time in the area and eventually one will appear but what an incredible snake and what a start to the trip. That awesome bamboo rat snake gave us motivation to wake up early and road cruise high on the mountain all day long. This turned out to be an inspired decision as the very first snake I found crossing the road that day was one I could have only dreamed about. Yep, this snake right here in my hand is arguably our biggest target of the trip, the green rat snake. This jaw-droppingly beautiful species is extremely rare in Thailand, having only been observed a small handful of times ever. This one is a juvenile, hence the unbelievable green and black striping, but the video just doesn't do justice how stunning this species is. Undoubtedly one of the most defining finds in my year of herping. I mean, just look at it. Words can't do it justice either. This is one of the most beautiful snakes I have ever seen in my life, without a doubt. But the fun did not stop there, as David went and caught this almost equally jaw-dropping juvenile red bamboo rat snake. This was the first I'd ever seen in the flesh and it felt surreal, as this snake was so vibrantly colourful and ornate that it really looks like a toy. Honestly, tell me that if you saw this on the road without knowing what it was, you'd assume that somebody had just dropped a rubber snake. Absolutely incredible. And yet this still wasn't the end of the fun. Harry road cruised yet another juvenile rat snake and another target of ours. This here is the Yunnan beauty rat snake, a subspecies of what we call the cave racer in other parts of Thailand. This particular subspecies is quite different from the others and inhabits forests more commonly than caves. It can only be found in the far northeast of Thailand and is very uncommon, so we were extremely happy to find one. Yeah, sure. Northern Thailand doesn't have so many iconic, flashy, venomous species as the South, but the forest is just full of stunning jewels like this and the other snakes we've seen before in this video. 
But that is gonna be all for the first video from the Nan Expedition. But don't worry, there is so much more to come. There will be vipers, lizards, frogs, climbing a 2000 meter high mountain, and of course, many, many more insane snakes, which I guarantee you've never even heard of before. So stay tuned.